This is Showtime Sean Porter. Exactly. This is Earl Spin Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. Right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. Um, there's a lot of interesting things going on in boxing. What are some things that, you know, Sean, Sean's excited for? What is Sean excited about in the world of boxing right now? I mean, um, maybe I was also one of those people that held on to Mayweather Pacquiao too long. But I, I'm excited about Canelo Triple G. I'm happy that uh, our, our number one, I think, I, by the way, I really think it's going to happen in September. You know, barring the upsets from Chavez and Jacobs, I think it's going to happen in September. But I'm happy that... Our best fight in boxing, our biggest fight, is a surefire fight of the year candidate type fight. Okay, I know everybody hates Canelo right now for that, um, but they got a, it's a business. And, I, you know, but I, I'm not okay with what Mayweather Pacquiao did, okay, where the fight should have happened in 2010, maybe 2011, and we mm -hmm. got it in 2015. This fight should have, the, the time people started really deservedly demanding for Canelo Triple G was, Right after he beat Cotto for the BC, right? Mm -hmm. right yeah. So that's November of 2015, basically the year's over. So in, in the end picture, in the big picture, if it works out that we get the fight in September, which I think we will, that's a year and a half of marination. Six months longer than Leonard and Hearns did it. Different scenarios because Golovkin's already older, so you are aging him out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But essentially, if Golovkin's the same guy, which we'll find out March 18th against uh, Daniel Jacobs, we'll know if he's the same guy. If he's the same guy, then all it did is make them richer. And as a grown ass man, I I can only criticize you if you fuck the fight up. To, and I'm sorry, you know, for talking, but it's if, all good. if you fuck the fight up to the point where uh, it, it's it's tainted in respect of now we don't know who would have won at their very best. But if you take some time and essentially you fight each other still at your at the peak of your powers, then I'm okay with you milking it a little bit. Yeah, I think that's the compromise. See, I really want. To, you ask me what I'm interested about in boxing. Yes, yes. I'm interested in a compromise where, uh, you know, Paulie talks about this sometimes, where like Kel Brook, Errol Spence, maybe it's not the best example because it is as mandatory should have fought him. Mm -hmm. But when, when a guy takes the right fight, we give him the credit and we support it and we buy the pay-per-view. Um, like the love Ken Jacobs, you know, okay, maybe back in the 90s when boxing was better, in terms of, you know, just in terms of ratings and everything. I mean, I don't know the numbers off top. That fight would have been on uh, regular HBO, right? It yep. wouldn't have been a pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. But I, I say this. I'll fork, I'll fork over the 50 bucks if you give me the fight I want over giving me the fight I don't want for free. Makes okay? sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you're going to, well, okay, we'll give you Golovkin versus Monroe again. We'll give you Golovkin versus Wade. It'll be on free HBO. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Or you could pay 50 bucks for Golovkin Jacobs, or you could pay 60 bucks for Golovkin Canelo. I, I mean, you know, in this landscape of, of how it is now, these, you know, I'll, I'll fork over that money to, to watch the good fight. Uh, I'm sorry I'm long-winded. No, nah, this, is, this is great. This is great but, stuff. Um, what I want, what, I just want to compromise where Mayweather Pacquiao doesn't happen again. And I'm, and I give both guys deserved blame. Like, I'm not... I'm not on Floyd's dick or Manny's dick, okay? I think they should split that blank 50-50 if you want to go in terms of tainting the fight because this businessman it was perfect, okay? And I get it. I'm a boxing writer. I'm not supposed to talk about business, but it's a reality in our sport. And that's what. And so what I'm getting at is, again, the compromise. We got to uh, – the fighters have to understand it's still a sport, and we want to know who's the best. And that's what gets our blood pumping. We want to see the best fight the best. But these guys – Look, think of all your great fighters you've ever loved. Pretty much all of them. Uh, not all of them, not all of them, but 70% of them maybe, you know, from Ali to Thomas Hearns to Aaron Pryor to Riddick Bowe to Melzer. To, like, there's so many great champions that we love that wound up with such bad health and poor health. Oh, after. man. And a lot of them didn't even make the money. That's true. You're preaching to the choir here. Like, Riddick Bowe is one of my good friends. Right. I and see him all the time, and he's bad, bad condition. Right. So you get these young guys coming up who hear us fight fans love them guys deservedly and they look up to them too but do they want to end up like that broke and punch drunk so no so they have to make money and they have to preserve their health to a degree so maybe you know so we have to find a way to get the to, to support the sport enough to where there's enough money in the pot um, when the timing's still right for the fight to happen when guys are still in their prime Okay, because it's hard to tell them, 
if the best if the best route for them to make the most money is to milk fights like Mayweather Pacquiao, then it's hard to tell them not to do that. So how do we find a way? How do we find a way where everybody wins? We get the fight. Like Golovkin Canelo to me is a situation where everybody can win if it happens in September. They waited it out. Golden Boy and Triple G's team made a ton of money in the interim fighting legitimate fights, especially in Triple G's case. You know, Brooke can call him a welterweight, but he's undefeated. Jacob's hell of a fight. Uh, you know, Canelo, solid fights, big, big name fights in yeah, yeah. Chavez. So they make more money, build their records a little more, and now they're still gonna meet in their primes for the undisputed middleweight title. This is how it has to happen. Kovalev Ward, right? It mm -hmm. took a little time, took a couple fights, made a little money, nowhere the scale that Triple G and Canelo are. And then the fight happened when it should have happened. Okay, those are good compromises. But then what did that? What happened with Ward Kovalev? Did it sell anything? Nope. Right. Did I, mean, I was at that fight ringside. Half the arena was empty. The fans that were there were passionate. The fans that ordered the hundred sixty thousand people that ordered it on pay per view were passionate. So we're me and you we're passionate. Yeah, yeah. So how but how do we find a way to get the right fights? Not just Floyd fucking Mayweather against Conor McGregor. Yeah, yeah. These 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 you know how. Do, That's you know, a ridiculous money grab, by the way. But right. I mean, how do we find a way to get the right fights to make the right money and get the right prestige? Yeah. So that these guys want to take. Kind of find like a middle ground. 